our dirty windshield. There's the arch right there. It's so shiny. We're about to go learn all about it. Taryn, are we excited? Sure. We're going on that boat tour later this afternoon. Right down there. We are in? St. Louis. St. Louis. And what's confusing about this place? How do you know when something is St. Louis versus St. Louis? Hmm? <laughs> Taryn? That's true. Is it King Louis or King Louis? King Louis. What about the saint? St. Louis or St. Louis? Confusing. We decided the arch is big. <laughs> if it were small, we wouldn't have come. That's right. This might be a whole video of this, that, hey, an arch. This is the arch from a different angle. Hey, look, an arch. There isn't anything else to see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else Just we're gonna. Just an arch. <laughs> this whole day is about the arch. But we're watching a movie first that's gonna tell us all about the history of it, so we'll share that as we go along. So now we can look at it and watch a movie that we probably could have watched at home, but you know what? Why not pay and watch it here, next to the big arch? <laughs> so right next to the arch, here is a Catholic church, and it is the Basilica of St. Louis, King of France. Established in 1770. Wow. Wow. That's old. The arch, <laughs> from a different angle. <laughs> it's bigger now, because we're closer. Now, we're closer, so it's even bigger. Why is it a big stretch out triangle? I thought it would be a big stretched out rectangle. Uh, the, the triangle is the strongest shape. I don't know why. I just know that. <laughs> wow. You did the doors just for fun. It's a cool carpet. My tax dollars at work. In the visitor center. We got the entrance here, ticket center over there, but we already got our tickets online. There is the tram rides. This is the entrance for the museum, Tucker Theater, and right to the top. This whole visitor center is underground. They put a big map on the floor over here. Huh, pioneers. It's the handcart pioneers. I know. Right there. Right there. There's the <laughs> I see a problem. They're not singing as they walk They're and walk and walk. They're not singing as they walk and walk and walk. Alright, I'm going to watch a video. <laughs> Karen, why did they build the arch? I don't know. <laughs> why did they build the arch? They built the arch to honor the pioneers who went west. I'm with Taryn. I don't know why they built the arch. So what did you think of the movie? It was stressful. I was like, oh, somebody's gonna fall. I don't like heights. And so that was, a, and OSHA would have had a really big problem with how they were climbing all around with no harnesses and all of those things. Didn't look very safe to me. And I'm not a super safety conscious person, but the video was stressful. We had to pay to watch this video, 30 minute video that probably wouldn't get that many views on YouTube today. They should redo the thing. I think the uh, museum gives enough information that you could skip the video. You could skip the video, yeah. So. In fact, you can probably find the video on YouTube. You probably can. This shows the height of various landmarks. We've got Old Faithful, Independence Hall. Washington Monument is the closest at 555 feet. This thing is 600 feet. What does this visitor center feel like? An airport. Why? <laughs> it has airport noises, it has a store, it has a sign. They have an airport looking like store. Look to them. The yes. signs are like and transportation. They, yeah, they say what time you're supposed to leave. And they got airport seating, if I've ever seen it. We're wandering around an airport, an airport underground. Well, we're in the store and there's the stamping station. Another one, but I don't know. So we have where. this. It's always so satisfying. Okay. Oh, I did it upside down. That's fine. No one's gonna look at it that close. <laughs> uh, how many people died? Nobody. Nobody. Zero. Nobody died, but how many people did they think were gonna die? They thought they would lose 13 people. Somebody did the math. They like planned for it. We're gonna lose 13 people. And decided it was worth it. Yep. Before they started. Yep. 
but it turns out they didn't lose anybody. Nope. So somebody won a bet. We do have a cool museum here. <laughs> I love a good interactive museum. This one's really good. There's lots of hands-on things, lots of things to learn. It goes through different angles and time periods about St. Louis. It's a really good museum. I like it. So there's two trams, theater, and riverboats. Taryn wants to sit in an airport chair. Taryn, we have eight minutes till our flight leaves. And we get boarding passes. Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. So here's number six, and we are number six. Oh, looks like space age. <laughs> That's what it reminds me. Little capsules. Little space age capsule. Nobody should be tall. Watch your head. It's Don't be tall. We're gonna go in this little bubble uh, up 600 feet. The, the chairs wiggle. And the chairs wiggle. I don't know what the purpose of the wiggling chairs is, but okay. I'm not gonna be able to see anything, but it'll be fun to see if you can. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be stairs. Oh, oh it's the emergency stairs. Yeah. Wow, this is cool. This is really cool. Hey, here we are. From 630 feet up. And down there is the entrance to the visitor center, which is underground. So we only had about 10 minutes up top, and then they shuffle us down because they are cycling people in and out of this thing. Back down. Going back down. Quick trip. You gotta look quickly. We spent almost as much time in this little pod as we did up top. Yep. Wow. Yeah, we did. Because you are entering the Twilight Zone. Welcome back, everyone. Come out of your sand fire. Thank you riding. Come up the stairs. Use the railing if you need to. Watch the steps. Put them in the left of the exit. So I'll be fine. I'm a very nice do you have a cafe here with a number of food options. And here's the menu. Taryn got chicken fingers. Heather went with some toasted raviolis. Um, we'll see how it tastes in a second. They kind of rushed you through and it was pure chaos back there. It was chaos. So I'm not sure I recommend this place, but it's in the right spot at the right time. Is it yummy? It is yummy. Okay, so at least there's that. Taryn? It's hot. So it turns out these two little sandwiches, which are like slices of a pre-made sandwich, they roasted my lettuce, which is gross. This was $9. I declare this place a ripoff. Hanging out under the arch, it's like a community park. And it's very nice landscape, and there's a pond over there. I might actually like the, the, atmosphere. the grounds better than I care about the arch. Of course, probably wouldn't be this nice for the arch. For the arch, yeah. So there's that.
So this is another riverboat. We were on a riverboat recently. This one's called the Mississippi. The Mississippi. Yep. So we're going to Gateway Arch Riverboat. Taryn, have you ever been on a riverboat? I don't think so. Uh, you can kind of see the top poking over the back there. It's the Becky Thatcher. Ha ha. It's funny. It's From... not a real paddle boat. Yeah, it's not a real paddle boat. It's a boat. They stuck a little wimpy paddle on the back for looks. But yep. this will be fun. Right behind us is the arch. Welcome aboard. There's the fake paddle on the back of the boat. This is the Mississippi. We got a barge going down the river. Going up the river, technically. Here we are on the boat. Here's Terry. She's so excited to be on the boat. It's bright, really bright. It is bright. Although at other times, Route 66 also crossed the river on a couple of other bridges in the area. And the compromise was to name the bridge the Stan Musial Veterans Memorial Bridge. <laughs> kind of a mouthful and a lot of local people just call it the Stan Span. There's a lot going on on the Mississippi River. There's a lot of cargo moving on the Mississippi River these days. Karen's excited to be here. What did you think of the riverboat cruise? Now I I'll ask. I loved it because you're in the moment and you have the funny little tour guide and he is telling you all the cool little history things and I enjoy that immensely. Oh good, Taryn, did you enjoy the riverboat? I fell asleep. Taryn fell asleep, <laughs> Taryn's really tired. And the peppy captain tour guide. Yeah, he was funny. He was funny. He was very good. So, great. Highly recommend.